Hello everybody and welcome to Romance Wells Tarot. I'm about to begin here with a reading. Now this is a reading that is destined to the beautiful sign of Gemini. Now my dear friend Gemini, this is a general reading so it might not resonate with everybody. So please do take whatever does resonate with you and just leave the rest of it aside. If ever you do have any questions, if ever you would like to have your own reading, please do contact me. It will be my great pleasure to assist you, so please do not hesitate. And um, also, if you have not yet subscribed to the channel, please do click onto the subscribe button to show your support to the channel and to myself, and it is always and greatly appreciated, and I do thank you so very much. So with no further ado, Let's begin this reading. This is a reading with spirit. Spirit has some warnings for you, so um, let me begin to give them to you. So, we have perception followed by vulnerability, and we're going to conclude with some blossoming. So, let's begin all the way up here with perception. This is about looking in the mirror 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 on the wall we could say so when you gaze into a mirror who is looking back at you now I bid you to be very and truly honest with this uh, with yourself at this time when you ask yourself that question now beauty is in the eye of the beholder so what can't you see that others can your perception of who you are is warped indeed. For no longer can you see a wonderful being. Nope. Instead, all you see are your faults, your guilts, your worries and shame staring you blatantly in the face when you look into that mirror. Is this the true creation of who you are? Of course it's not. You have become shrouded in a world that has been painted by others negative comments, other people's negative comments, their blames, their rejections, their projections. Now sadly, you've come to believe these lies, which have just kind of built up within your mind. So instead of seeing the true aspect of yourself and feeling absolutely wonderful, you have chosen to become who you really are not. And this is how most others now perceive you to be. Even though you have been showered with compliments and praise, you only listen to the negative aspects that have stemmed from jealousy, from anger, and from control. So, Spirit is asking you, please, look again if you will, and this time open wide your eyes. Acknowledge the magnificence of you of what you stand for and how far you have come. You are a marvel and did you know that there is no one like you throughout the entire universe? You were brought forth into this world specifically for your talents, your passion and the ray of energy that is specifically unique to you. Without the gift of you, this planet would not tick and now it begs you to take ownership of who you are but in every way and to do what you came here to do so you must be proud of who you are for the moment you change your perception of who you are so too will everybody else around you so it is simply time for you to look through the eyes of your soul and not through the lies of the inner critic very important message that was from um, from spirit to you so now we're going to move on over to um, your following message and your following message is about vulnerability now your increasing sensitivity is leaving you rather a little bit success well how could I say um, successable to emotional injury let's put it that way you have to be very very careful right now you are an easy target for you kind of tend to wear your heart on your sleeve so this has left you open to criticism to verbal attacks to maybe even judgment now not everyone is as kind and as sweet as you 
it could make you kind of appear weak. And I must stress that I have used the word appear, for spirit knows very well, without a doubt, without a shadow of a doubt, that you are not really the person that you come across to others. However, you are easily hurt and you find it hard to brush off any negativity that has been directed your way. Because you have never felt completely accepted for who you are, you tend to welcome people but at face value. And it is important to take a risk and one must be vulnerable at times to uncertainties along the way. However, Spirit has watched from nearby as you have beautifully put your trust in those who have gone on to lie, to cheat, and to betray you. But fear not. Spirit is here to protect you from being a sitting duck this time. An offer is about to be made that is going to bring a smile to your face. Even though it may sound very tempting, you should wait until the whole story is going to be revealed. Look deeper into the situation before deciding on taking any action. It is time for you to trust your inner radar that detects any ulterior motives behind new offers. It is time for you to recognize and to believe your natural gifts and your inner strength. And by doing so, you are going to increase your abilities and so too will your confidence to stand up and to be counted. So you must soar. No longer will you be taken for granted or wished to settle for scraps. You are worth far more than that. Put the past hurts well and truly behind you and step into your power. And moving on to your um, final message here by Spirit, we have blossoming. So, you need to wake up. You need to smell the roses. Take a good look at what is really going around around you. While you think that all is perfect in your world, you may need to reevaluate the situation a little bit. You would be wise right now to question what has been said recently, as well as motives of others in your surroundings. And by doing so, you could begin to see an entirely different scene emerging. You need to look at areas in your life where you could improve things or investigate more deeply into situations that you have previously skimmed over. For some, pruning is in order right now. This is about urging you to literally smell the roses and breathe in their healing power, which is going to penetrate deep into your heart. It's going to open and blossom in awareness to love. It's arising and bringing the beauty and the fragrance into your life. It's being careful. It's watching out for everything that you have around you, everybody that you have around you, to make sure that they are worthy of being in your sphere. And then it is taking whatever seeds you have planted and to water them and watch them grow and then enjoy the fruit that you have grown. This is also about healing energies and it's healing energies on every single level. So this does conclude your reading with spirit. I do hope that you enjoyed. I do hope that it brought you some interesting um, messages. If you would like to have your own reading or you have any question, please do contact me. My information is right below into the YouTube description box. Please don't forget to um, subscribe to the channel. Have yourself a beautiful day. I thank you for being there and I will see you tomorrow with new messages. Many blessings to you.